Hi there, I'm Ludwig and the SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing the most common questions regarding SQL Server and Azure in very simple terms. So, in one of the previous episodes on this YouTube channel, uh, we talked about how to get the uptime or a startup time of your SQL Server instance. Now, one of the methods I've mentioned was to use the tempdb creation date. And I mentioned in that video that we have four system databases in every single, uh, every single SQL Server instance. So today, this is the subject of the episode, SQL Server and its system databases. Now, let me just jump straight to my little demo. Now, this is the code that I've showed you and that is listed down below this video on our little GitHub repository. So if you wanted to check the startup time of your SQL Server, you can just check the tempdb creation date, right? So if I'll just select this code, run it, you'll see that the tempdb was created on uh, 4th of July, uh, 20 past 12. Now, the thing is that why was the tempdb created at that time? Well, this tempdb is one of the four, well, actually five, system data databases that every single instance of SQL Server contains. Now, what are those system databases? As you can he see here on the left-hand side on my Object Explorer, we have uh, four visible system databases. There is master, model, msdb, and tempdb. Now, the last fifth one is called resource. We'll get to it in just a moment. So, master database, the first one that you'll see here on the list, is the heart of our entire SQL Server instance. It contains all of the configuration, it contains all of the security settings, it contains all of the users, it contains the information about all of the other databases that are being connected, attached, to this particular SQL Server instance. Now, if you will not back up your uh, master database, you will have to start over if the master database fails. And even if you have all of those uh, databases files intact, you will have to manually attach every single one to this particular SQL Server instance, unless you will have the proper backup of your master database. All of your configuration, all of your logins, all of the settings, everything will be gone if you will not backup your master database. Now, model database is nothing more than just a template for every single other database that you'll create on this instance, right? So basically creating a database on SQL Server is nothing more than just taking the model, control C, control V, and then applying all of the settings. Now, this is the minimal configuration. So you cannot create a model database, or sorry, you cannot create a database that is, for example, smaller than the model database, because again, you need to copy the model database first, and only then you can apply some changes to it. Now, MSDB is pretty much, again, the other heart of your SQL Server, but not of, of the SQL Server instance, but of your SQL Server agents. So MSDB contains all of the information about all of the um, scheduling, all of our jobs, all of our operators, some of the history operations that you performed and so on and so forth. So again, this is the heart, but not of the SQL Server instance, but this is the heart of your SQL Server uh, agent that is connected to this instance. And last but not least, there's a tempdb. Tempdb, as the name suggests, it's a temporary database that gets deleted and recreated every single time you're rebooting your SQL Server server instance. So all of the intermediate objects, intermediate and temporal results that they are being stored in your tempdb. Now, the fifth database that you're not seeing here is called resource. And this is basically the definition in all of the object, the definition of all of the objects that you're seeing on your SQL server instance. So basically, since we this is the read-only database, we cannot do anything about it. This is not being seen, so we won't be uh, basically provoked to, to try and modify that database. So again, the four visible databases, uh, system databases on SQL Server are master, model, MSDB, and tempdb. This is SQL Bootcamp Online. I'm Ludwig. I have a pleasure of uh, explaining that some of the difficult terms that are happening on SQL Server and Azure in very simple terms. So if you like that video, don't forget to subscribe. But don't really trust the, the YouTube algorithm. Just go to SQL Bootcamp online and sign up for the mailing list so you'll get notified the moment the new video will pop up.
Thank you, and I'll see you on the other side.